cats. Anyway, uh, hey everybody, uh, no, this is not Richard Gere's review, he's finally caving and doing, uh, the movie version of Cats. God, no. <laughs> uh, I'm babysitting, uh, my, uh, brother's cat, and now there's four of them in the, running around the house, or one running around the house, the other three are hiding, like, their lives, depending on it. It's gonna be that kind of a weekend here in the retro household. Um, but I wanted to do a quick review, uh, before, or uh, after, uh, my indie review, whichever comes first, um, this week. Uh, I got around to sitting through the two-episode premiere of My Adventures with Superman, the Jack Quaid, uh, animated, uh, adaptation of Superman's origin. And, um, yes, uh, like I just said at the top of the, at the top of the hour, um, yeah, uh, Jack Quaid plays, uh, the Man, Man of Steel himself in, uh, this case. And, uh, yeah, if you lightly followed his, uh, socials, uh, I'm TBD if I'm gonna do threads, I'll let you know probably later down the road. Um, but, yeah, uh, he looked like he had an awesome time in the booth, um, I think his lowest is a former, um, or I guess still current, uh, YouTuber getting the most obvious, yeah, I need a voice acting bag, and, uh, yeah, I take it, I'm, I'm with it, and Amy, Amy Lee on this one, uh, if I got her name right, I'll leave, if her channel is still active in the description down below, and given YouTubers, uh, being former these days, or going the, uh, weirder route, yes, I'm aware of the Colleen Bowdoin situation, I think I tried to lightly word it on the, uh, uh, Cooper's retirement short, so I'll, I'll leave it brief here. Uh, yeah, that's messy. So, uh, on to the show itself. Uh, it's awesome. It premiered on Adult Swim, um, last Thursday, as it does recording, and, um, it was pretty good. Um, it was also kind of, uh, messed up and unmessed up because, uh, I think the first, uh, it's, it's a family thing. I think my mom, I was viewing this with my mom, she's like, wow, you're gonna show him saving a cat knowing one of them might have loved the house. Yeah, uh, it's my uh, second youngest, I guess now, uh, Obi, long story short. Uh, he's still here. He just played a really good dingy game than I thought he could. Hiding game, just in case, you know, you do copyrights, whatever. So, yeah, what do I think of the show itself and the two-part premiere? Um, it's wholesome. I'm sorry, it really, it really is. Um, Studio Mirror, if I got the name right, who usually did, um, animations for, uh, last, uh, um, uh, Avatar uh, Legend of Korra and you know your favorites uh, I think I might have reviewed a few here on the channel I just woke, woke up to, the, to this by the way I'm um, sorry um, anyway uh, yeah it looks good uh, I am very much aware that uh, Clark got a magical girl uh, Sailor Moon uh, transformation however as a Tokusatsu fan uh, I'm just gonna say this probably serendipity came to my favor he did a Jetman opening so Sorry, uh, but I, I, I can see it. I, I could kind of see it. Um, that being said, um, you kind of got um, both um, origins for a sh suit in the shorts at both ends. Normally, um, I think in the, originally in the comics since like, I want to say Silver Age, maybe older um, eras of DC, um, Mod can basically just made the suit in general. And then obviously the Man of Steel series says, no, it's a power suit. It is a symbol of hope and change. And uh, nah, here you get the split the difference. She did the shorts, the Kryptonians did this, the rest of the suit. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that's going to probably be interesting as time goes on for the series, uh, the rocket that brought him here to Earth in this uh, particular timeline um, is still expanding when they buried it in the farm. So I'm guessing that's going to be their way of uh, introducing it, expanding into the Fortress of Solitude as time goes on. Um, yeah, that would be pretty interesting. As for the rest of the episode, for the action scenes, is actually pretty cool. Um, hilariously, his debut episode is like, okay, I'm not gonna do the Superman thing yet. I'm just gonna be an average, normal man. They actually titled the the episode, yeah, the My Adventures of the Normal Man kind of thing. It was pretty cool. Um, also, there is some mainstay uh, DC villains. Um, I didn't think they'd go this far into using Task Force Task Force X out of the gate. Um, I thought it was just gonna be lip service or maybe like even a cameo thing, uh, seeing Waller in the back in that, uh, end of that episode. Turns out, uh, no, she might actually show up as time goes on, I don't know if she got voice acted yet. Um, you could definitely tell this is a very younger Superman because if I'm right, uh, one of the paramilitary guys that was going after Livewire, uh, in that episode might have been Slade Wilson, aka, dead, um, uh, uh, it's been a while, not Deadshot, uh... Deathstroke, here we go. Yeah, can you tell I just woke up for this review? <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, but yeah, the fight scenes for that is actually pretty good. Again, if you know Mirror's um, fight choreography with this style of animation, it's on par. And before we even get to Clark himself uh, being Superman, he's actually doing some like very origin story stuff. Obviously, like he's going to break the bathroom and break stuff around just to like, hide his powers before becoming full Superman. And um, it's 
done well, honestly. It could be worse uh, in a live action sense, but on the animation sense, in out, like, you can't even tell it's going to be that weird or uh, messy with the scenes. Again, shout outs again to Jack Quake. He does the delivery for that very well. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy who's playing Jimmy in this case. Also pretty good. He is definitely going to be best friend status for both uh, Clark and Lois. And uh, speaking of Lois herself, uh, she's a lot more, again, the whole theme of this uh, review is wholesome. Um, she'll probably, like, edge out into, like, her hard-nosed, like, journalistic self. Uh, probably later down the road in the show, and you could definitely tell. And ultimately, um, when you finally get to the second half of the, second half of the premiere of, uh, Superman being Superman, um, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the hover was not bad. Uh, proto it with, like, a hoodie and all that in the episode before was really nice. Um, not akin to, like, uh, Man of Steel, but a lot of, like, floatier and stuff like that is really cool. Um... He was finding a bunch of like Ava, uh, Leon Jones' Ava Galleon type of like robots that uh, Live Rider uh, took as like her pseudo crime outfit or paramilitary unit. I never really got the gist of that. I know in the 90s when she debuted, she was like a Howard Stern stand in shock jock kind of like uh, personality that ended up becoming having powers because she always had to pay you with Superman. Yeah, that's kind of the theme for a lot of uh, Superman mainstay villains, even during the 90s. If you had an opinion on the guy, either you're going to be his best friend or a villain. I don't know which. So, um, yeah, for the rest of the season going on, uh, I think uh, Lois is going to try to score an interview for um, uh, Superman. And I'm going to be honest, if it is a good homage to, like, um, the Christopher uh, Reeve uh, era of um, uh, 70s Superman, that would be awesome. Uh, better win than what happened in The Flash. Go to my, I guess, channel All Hands review of The Flash, uh, the Ezra Miller version, of course. And, um, yeah, ultimately my rating for uh, these first two premiere episodes uh a very well deserved uh 10 out of 10 uh i'm probably a sucker for premiere's um style of animation uh i am not a huge superman fan but i do see a well done origin story when i see one and this is well done it gives you a lot more you want to sit through week to week um i'm very happy that the show didn't get deleted away with uh Zaslav taking the reins for uh, wb over the course of last year speaking of uh it turns out the guy has a very thin skin if you put uh an article on him i'll see if i can find that post down below uh speaking of that he's as over this one uh that all being said uh what did you think of the two premiere did you see it when it was uh new on tv did you record it like me later on and didn't have a whole cat crisis having to sit through uh sending through this episode these episodes uh let me know in the comments down below and until then this is retro care review you saying yeah i was gonna do this as a cosplay version of either grifter here in the end cards to my previous review here which was a retrospective for indiana jones 5 uh yeah uh long story short the review got the like case you could tell i said this recording shirt here to sell the channel other hand here to my upcoming critical role short for Probably the largest amount of people that showed up in the party. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'll I, I'm over. I'm paraphrasing it. I'll explain it more in the short. Uh, until then, this is Roger Garrett's review saying, "Yeah, Jack, wait, you're an amazing Superman. No joke. If you were him, can you use that extra vision to find my cat in this room? Seriously, I, I literally need it. But for real, to Jack, wait, and everybody, uh, this is good. And yes, more, please, more, more wholesome Superman versus whatever the hell is, uh, Snyder fans are saying. Yes, please."